Okay, this is a guide on how you can remove and replace a non-removable laptop battery. With most old laptops, the battery is situated towards the back and to replace it, you just simply flick the switch in the back and the whole thing pops up and you just replace it as a whole unit. Simple and easy. With most new, um, new laptops these days, they've just got one solid plastic cover on the underneath the laptop which means you can't even replace the memory or your hard drive without actually without taking the whole back off. So to change these batteries you can before you do this make sure you can actually change the battery make sure you can buy a new one. You will obviously void the warranty if it's under a year or whatever the warranty is on your particular laptop. So bear in mind before you proceed with this and to remove the the complete um, bottom of the laptop you will have to remove all the screws with a small little screw like this so with this particular model it's about 16 or 17 screws I've actually removed the screws to save time now before you actually take the back of the laptop off it's important that you actually remove the CD drive or the DVD drive whatever they call them these days so to remove that there's, there was a the screw here which held it in place now when, once you remove all the screws just bear in mind they may be slightly different sizes so remove them in order and set them set them aside so you know where they go so once you remove the screw to hose the drive in place you want to get your finger your fingernail and actually get into a little gap and pull the drive out it comes out quite easily you might need a little bit of force that, that, that now slides out quite nice and easy you can see that's now the drive so once that's out it should reveal now every laptop would be slightly different, but in my case there's actually three screws here which hold the bottom of the laptop down. I've never, I've actually moved them prior to doing this to save time. So make sure you remove those three screws here with a small screwdriver. They actually they're actually slightly different sizes from the rest. So with my with my laptop, all the screws here are the same size. It's only these three that are actually different. So. So you want to double check or even triple check that you removed all the screws to slip in all the holes. Once all the screws are removed from the bottom of the laptop, obviously to do this, make sure the laptop's upside down on a flat, on a nice soft surface. So once all that's removed, just double check all the screws, including the ones by the driver removed. Once you're confident that all removed, you want to get your, your fingernail and you want to gently pry bottom of the laptop off there's this plastic cover off so do this it's best to do it from the end where the least amount of ports are on this end there's only one USB port and the power port on the other end there's several as you can see so do it from this end it's usually best now you will have to use a little bit of force but be gentle doing this so just gently with a bit of force just try and get your fingernail in a little gap while holding the laptop down as well just do this very gradually. You know, it is a bit nerve wracking doing this, but this is the way they come come apart, unfortunately. So just do it very gradually. When you're doing this, just just keep an eye on the ports. Just make sure you're not, you know, the plastic's not grab, you know, pulling them upwards. There's a little bit of flex in them, but it, that's come up nice and easy. You can see. So just do it gradually all the way around. Just do it very easily, at a slight angle is the best. Now, before you pull the, the actual complete panel off, you have to just be careful there's no cables. In this case, I've already dis disconnected it earlier. There's actually a little cable you, you can see there, which goes to a sensor, which was connected to the motherboard by here. Just, just take a note, this was connected by here. So just be careful when you pull this off. In some cases, not all laptops have these, but most of them do. Just to make life a little bit more difficult for yourself just make sure that this is unplugged and you just take a note of where it came from i know it came from this here from this port here so just take a note of that so once the back covers up you can see all the inside of the laptop they're actually unbelievably simple inside i mean here's the battery which we want to replace this here is the actual processors is the intel i5 this copper here actually transfer the heat then to the fan the, 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 most people actually think this is the processor here, but this is actually just the fan. This is obviously the motherboard. 
this is the um, hard drive, this is your memory. If you want to replace the memory, you simply pull these little metal tabs out by the side, one on each side, flick them, the memory then flicks up. To put it in, you put it in a slight angle, just make sure it's pushed into the port, and you push it down, and you can see both of those clip in automatically. Hard drive is really simple, just simply grab it by either, either side, and just gently pull it backwards, and it comes in quite nice and easy. If you want to change your hard drive, you're obviously going to have to back up your data and your operating system, but it's very simple just to put a new hard drive in. So slot that back in, just push it down a little bit, make sure it's in. So onto the battery. This particular battery is really, really simple. I mean, it, it's not held in by any screws, so it just comes out. It's connected to the motherboard here, so you just simply pull on a little plastic tab, not the cables. Gently, gently ease it out of the port. I say nice and easy. This particular battery is so simple, I can actually feel batteries inside it. It's actually about four batteries, slightly bigger than double A's. So, I mean, this probably cost four or five pounds a manufacturer, and they'll probably sell it to you for at least 30, if not 40 pounds. So, to replace the battery, exactly the same way as it came out. Obviously, double check with yours, you know, the process might be different. But in most cases, you just take it out, put it back in the way it came, connect it back up to the motherboard. Just be gentle when doing all this. Make sure it's back in, just slide it back in, nice and easy. So the battery's back in, pretend that's a new one. Just double check that everything else is okay. Then you want to put the back on. When you put the back on, obviously make sure with my particular model, I plug this in first. You know, this is a little tricky. So obviously, so I want to plug this back in here. This is a sensor of some kind. Just you know, just be gentle when you're doing this thing. So that's back in there. You can see that's connected there. When you put this on, it's best to do it the opposite way. Start with the end with the most ports. Just makes it a little bit easier and less likely to damage anything. So you can see this end's got lots of ports. So just at a slight angle, just put it back over the ports. Just, just be gentle and cautious when doing this. It's a little fiddly. But you get there in the end. So just just push that down and go over the other end. Just make just just keep an eye on the ports, make sure they're not being damaged when you're doing this. So just go around the whole laptop, pushing it down, should have the clicking back in place. Once the bottom's back on, just inspect everything, inspect all the ports, just make sure they all line up properly and they haven't been damaged. Just double check everything's down. And then simply just go along again, put all the screws back in. Obviously, put the screws back in here first, by the drive, make sure that's down nice and firm. You slot the drive in, goes back in, the slots in. The slots in easy. Might have to use a little bit of force. There it is. Then you want to put your screw back in that place, and then just just go around, put all the screws in. Just just make sure that the panel, you know, the back, the bottom panels down firmly, and all the ports are lined up properly. Just go around, put all your screws back in. With this particular model, you may have to reset the battery, which is done by the little. There's a little hole here. I don't know if you can see. You stick a paper clip in here for around four or five seconds, holding the button inside there. It resets the battery in case it's not working. And then hopefully that should make it work if it, if it, if it isn't. So not all, all laptops have these. I think these are mainly with Acer's, but you know, if you do find you, you replaced your battery and it's not working, it may be a reset button on your laptop. So, so just try that. So that's basically how you replace a non-replaceable battery in one of these modern laptops. I mean, it's a total pain in the ass, but the process is actually fairly simple, probably takes no more than 20-30 minutes at max. So 
that's basically just, just take your time, be be you know careful, make sure all the screws are removed before you move, try to remove the panel. Just do it very gradually all the way around and just basically put everything back the way you came out. So that's basically how you do it. Thanks for watching.